In this lecture, we'll be exploring routes and how we can create one of our own routes in this web.php file. So when we run this command php artisan serve, it gives us a URL where our application is up and running. Now, when we hit the URL, it basically comes over here and sees that the root URL is being requested and then it goes and serves this view that we have over here, view welcome. Now views, as we know, resides inside the resources directory. And here you can see the template is welcome.blade.php. Now if I open up this one, it will just show the static content that we have over there. And uh, it also checks for login. And if authorization is there, then it shows this link, otherwise login and register. So basically the content is served from this view. That is what we are seeing currently over here in our browser. Now, let's say I have to create one of my own routes. So what I'll be doing is I'll be simply copying this one and uh, I'll be pasting it. And let's say it's about us. And here, instead of returning a view, because we have not yet seen how to create a new view. So what we'll do is we'll simply return a string that is and then a semicolon. Now, as the server is up and running, what I'll do is I'll go and I'll try accessing this URL. So here, just after the URL, I'll say about us. And you can see it's returning this response about us from the very same route that we just now created. The best part is that not only we can return string views, but we can also return array objects. For instance, if I have to create one array, let's call it as response array and here initialize it and then have some dummy values over here like response array and uh, let's call author over here is equal to sb and another value we can have let's say course and here I'll say Laravel and instead of returning this string now we'll be returning this array let's see how Laravel treats an array over here so here I'll be reloading this page and the thing that you'll notice over here is the array is basically converted into a JSON object. So you can see author is the key and SB is the value, course is the key and Laravel is the value over here. So that's how easy it makes it on the website to process the data and this obviously one can easily grab in their client end as well using JavaScript libraries and process it further if required. Now in the next lecture we'll see how we can pass data to our view and use it inside our view. So basically something like we'll be passing data to our welcome view and in our welcome template we'll be making use of that data. So that will be coming up in the next lecture.